I've been working as a representative for, for USAC um, since 2001. And previously, I worked in, in the office that uh, we had uh, SASA in Caracas, Venezuela. And um, my role as a consultant, being representative of USAC for South America, is to implement all the programs that we have for, for the Americas in the countries uh, that I cover. There are Peru, Colombia, Venezuela, and Ecuador. Primarily, uh, and the problems that I cover are for animal utilization. So uh, we cover all the feed and animal production in these countries that I mentioned before. And uh, as my colleague also had uh, his, present his presentation and interview, he talked about aquaculture. And aquaculture is a very important sector, especially in Ecuador. Uh, normally, they look for high content of uh, protein, and but other factors such as uh, digestibility of amino acids and uh, uh, metabolized energy and other factors, but uh, probably the factor that they consider very important for U.S. soybean, soybean meal is most of our market, is the consistency and homogeneity of the product, uh, uh, differentiating it from uh, other producers in the South. It provides, uh, uh, you know, the uh, the nutrients that uh, the nutritionist uh, or feed formulators look uh, in in my region, and uh, despite that we have all the, our competitors in South America, so we have them all very close to to my customers in 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 the sub region, and still they have preference for U.S. Sometimes, you know, price uh, is, is a problem, but still people sometimes will pay a differentiation for U.S. just because of its attributes. U.S. soy uh, is considered as a, an excellent product, as I mentioned before, excellent quality, and uh, people will consider that when they buy, and that's what we insist, you know, that they should uh, not consider just the, the basic price when they buy, but also at the end of the production, you know, what's the cost benefit of buying U.S. Uh, lately, let's say since the two, three past years, they have started uh, talking about sustainability, and especially the aquaculture sector that is already exporting their animal protein to other countries. This is one of the requirements uh, for exporting to Europe and to the U.S., you know, to, to have a sustainable production and, and these animals to be fed with a sustainable raw material as well. Listening to different comments that our customers have mentioned to us through all these years that we have been inviting them to GTE is that it's uh, an excellent uh, uh, event where they can get uh, some um, first-hand information from U.S. Uh, soy production and other industries as well and uh, have uh, um, a close contact with, uh, with uh, grower leaders, soy grower leaders here and which is very important because sometimes and also for grower leaders to be in touch with the, these customers that sometimes they don't have the chance and they just read reports and see their names but it's always nice to see you know a name that matches with uh, with the face <laughs> and that's very important and um, it's nice also to share with uh, with global customers you know and and as we have mentioned uh, in the past there are more than 47 different nationalities that attend this event which is very very interesting. On Friday we have this field trip and I think we're going to visit one farm but uh, we have other programs that uh, that will will have the will provide us the chance to bring our customers to visit some soy farmers. Normally they they like to listen from from the soy grower you know how how is their production how much time they spend in, in the field and um, they like to see their equipments, and uh, which is very interesting. And sometimes a lot of them are interested in what's the production cost, <laughs> and also you know what's the forecast for for the uh, for the harvest of the year as well. One thing that uh, I would like to emphasize is how uh, the U.S. soy chain is uh, represented through USAC in in our region. Um, we are considered, you know, a, a leader in, in, the, in the sector. Uh, they respect uh, USAC or the soy organization very much. We are like um, influencers in each of the countries where we have programs. They, they take our, our input very much into consideration, which is very important. And we belong, let's say, to this decision makers group 
and uh, they like very much to work with us and uh, it's, not, it's, it's nice to know that uh, we're welcoming all these uh, associations and, and customers that we have around the, the region. The GT has also helped um, you know, with the uh, customers that we bring and U.S. suppliers. There are USAC members and we have these invitational meetings which are very helpful and uh, people sometimes, uh, you know, they, they, they find that there are new products that they probably didn't know exist and they, it, it calls the, their attention and they, you know, start a, a business relationship and, uh, and we help them, you know, to continue that uh, relationship or communication until, you know, something or a business has worked or sometimes not, but at least, you know, they're in touch, they know what products they, they offer and, you know, they, they, they know that they have a supplier there.